Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at Gilligan's Island. I love some of the inventions, some of the fun things that were seen on Gilligan's Island, and I brought to you my five favorite inventions from the entire series of Gilligan's Island. So let's go take a look. Now the first episode I want to cover is called Gilligan Meets Jungle Boy. It's from season one, episode 19, and it deals with a little jungle boy that appears on the island. He is played by, yeah, you might be surprised, Kurt Russell. Yes, the action hero, married to Goldie Hawn, young boy, Kurt Russell. Really cool to see him on the show. Now, they try to teach him manners and how to groom and so forth because he's, of course, a jungle boy, needs a little bit of education, but they find that they can make a hot air balloon out of raincoats. Yes, you heard me correctly, a hot air balloon out of raincoats. I know it sounds a bit absurd, but there was an actual true story, yes, a true story about this family who built just that. I have a link in the description. It's one of my older videos, and if you want to take a look at all the details of that, I'll let you know. But I really think this is kind of a funny, nonsensical invention. I mean, they decided to fill this huge hot air balloon with helium, and of course, it rises up into the air, and it brings the boy to safety, br brings him back to civilization. So it's great to see this moment. Moving on to the second invention, this comes from season two of Gilligan's Island, episode 32, Meet the Meteor. Now in this one, meteor fragments, in fact, one giant meteor fragment, hits the island. Now the emissions cause some plants to age, and it even, they suspect, according to the professor, leaks some type of radiation. So what does he make? Of course, he makes a Geiger counter out of items on the island. It's pretty cool. He doesn't go into depth of how to even make the Geiger counter, but you see him kind of building it throughout the episode. It is interesting, and finally he takes the finished product to the meteor to check the radiation levels. Now I will throw in a bonus here, and that is pretty much that they used lead and somehow melted that lead and got it on their clothing, made kind of a lead-proof vest out of their entire clothing. We know lead is toxic, but in those days that wasn't really known. And so it's pretty funny to see them all in that lead covering lead paint to protect them from the radiation. Pretty funny. Now moving on to season three of Gilligan's Island, episode 21. It's called Gilligan's Personal Magnetism. Now in this one, there is a storm that causes lightning to hit Gilligan when he's about to bowl. He has a rock on his hand and that bowling ball rock fuses itself to his hand. It's almost like he's a human magnet himself. It's a pretty funny episode. He's carrying that huge bowling ball in his arm and they make a kind of a modified wheelbarrow for him where he can kind of rest the bowling ball on it and Gilligan can roll it around. It doesn't make a huge appearance, meaning you don't see it for much of the episode. You actually see it for about a minute or two max, uh, but it's pretty comical that they went to the effort of making this for Gilligan. It's a really fun sight gag, and I think it's really enjoyable. I think it's one of the things on this list that could have been built. Doesn't seem that difficult compared to the others. Now, I have to say, guys and gals, I'm really torn between these two, but I will have to make this one my number two, but it is a hard decision. This comes from episode 19, Lovey's Secret Admirer from season three. Now, this is about some love letters that appear for Mrs. Howell, and well, Mrs. Howell and Mr. Howell decide to find out who's the man who's leaving these love letters for Lovey. So the professor creates a lie detector machine. Yes, a lie detector machine. Think about it, with all the things and all the supplies on the island, they try to make sense of it. They even say that the horn comes from the minnow, but you see gourds on top of their heads and you see all these wiring and things. It's one of those things where it's silly, but at the same time, they're trying to make it seem like they could build it from the island. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't even know with all the technology now in 2019 when this video was released, if I could make a lie detector, let alone in the 60s with materials from the jungle. But then again, it is comical. I love seeing it and it, this is why it's one of my favorites. And finally, guys and gals, this is my favorite invention from the entire series. You let me know your favorite down below in the comments. I'd really love to hear it. But it comes from the episode in season three, number four, The Producer. This is the one that guest stars, of course, 
Harold Hecuba. Well, he plays Harold Hecuba. That is Phil Silvers. He crash lands on the island, and Gilligan and everyone else kind of try to make him as comfortable as possible. He's a bit of a pain, kind of an annoying type character, but Gilligan chauffeurs him around in his car. Yes, they made a car. Now, there's no engine in this car. It is pedal-powered. Very reminiscent, very similar to what the Flintstones used. It's very comical. They speed up the footage, guys and gals, and we can see Gilligan rolling around, riding around on the island. There's even another episode where he appears with the house where he gives them a type of a taxi ride, kind of a joy ride. It is really funny to see. The producer and creator noted that no one has any idea where this car is in the present day. It is believed that someone probably took it apart and unfortunately stole it. Again, that's what they believe. In one scene, they actually ran the car into the water. However, again, there's no way of really tracking it. It's kind of sad that it's not available for us to see because some of these inventions are really cool, some of these gadgets. I wish I could see some of them. If you guys and gals know anything about these inventions, any that I missed or your favorites, I would love to see them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much as well for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It does help out my channel. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful.